Literally, the worst part in this whole situation is Roger Goodell is making me defend Bill Simmons. Thanks, y'all. So in case you haven't heard, Bill Simmons went on his podcast, The BS Report, and he basically said that Roger Goodell was lying about not knowing anything about that Ray Rice tape. Yeah. Goodell, if he didn't know what was on that tape, he's a liar. I'm just saying it. He is lying. I think that dude is lying. If you put him up on a lie detector test, that guy would fail. And, but and it, it, for all these people to pretend him. they didn't know is, is such f***ing bullshit. It really is. It's such f***ing bullshit. And for him to go in that press conference and yeah. pretend otherwise, I was so insulted. And yes, Bill Simmons just basically reiterated everything we have been saying on Twitter. And oh, look what happens to him. Look, ESPN has 15 billion reasons why they had to suspend Bill Simmons. And every single one of those reasons had to do with that Monday Night Football contract they have with the NFL. And yes, that is how much it is worth. Just another reason why I will not pay for cable. It's the Monday Night Football and it's their Sports Center's broadcast, uh, the pre-football broadcast and the post broadcast that always end up in the top five Monday night shows every Monday night. I think it averages something like around 15 million viewers. So it's a lot of money. They're like, no, Bill Simmons, no. Listen, do I think Bill Simmons has a right to say what he wants, especially on his podcast? It's a podcast. I don't think it had anything to do with his cursing. That's what ESPN said. I think it had to do with they don't like Roger Goodell being spoken about in that way, followed by curse words. I, and I think the fact that Simmons went after them and taunted, you know, ESPN, like, come after me. I think ESPN was just like, no. And I think ESPN at this point wants to set precedent and say, look, any of our on-air talent goes after Roger Goodell in that manner, you're getting suspended as well. They're just basically setting a $15 billion tone over there in their studio. It's all right, but you have to take into account this. Now when you watch SportsCenter and when you watch any show on ESPN or any of their podcasts, you have to think to yourself, what editorial slant is it coming from? Because if they're gonna shut Bill Simmons, and Bill Simmons is kind of one of the, he's not even like the loudest dog in the park. If they're gonna shut him down in that manner, you have to wonder how they're editing other people's footage and what they're doing with other people's footage. So you, you really have to take that in consideration when you're watching any of their shows. I'm not telling you to boycott them because I get that they're the only channel that has Monday Night Football. I've said it once, I'll say it again, I've never missed a game. I don't miss some of their shows, but I do not pay for cable. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just put that out there. And this isn't the first time ESPN's done this. They also pulled all of their affiliation with PBS's documentary, A League of Denial, where PBS was documenting how the NFL had known about how disastrous these concussions were in future health problems. ESPN pulled their name and all their producer's credits from that entire show. Another thing too that was really interesting that I saw is Stephen A. Smith has been making the rounds on other shows. Roger Goodell made a mistake. He clearly dropped the ball. And clearly the two game suspension, uh, he came up short on that. He acknowledged it. Roger Goodell is not perfect. Roger Goodell has made mistakes. He has clearly made a huge mistake in this particular situation but the NFL is about business it is the number one sport in the United States and the fact of the matter is as the commissioner of this league albeit not perfect there is no question that he is not the individual that put his hands on Janae Palmer and you have to wonder is that coming from him or is he getting paid to say that because now it's it's kind of funny how he's being championed for talking up Goodell and this one gets a three-week suspension for basically going after him and saying everything we've already said on Twitter. And poor Bill Simmons, Bill Simmons hasn't even tweeted yet. His, his account has just been like dark since this whole thing broke. It's just, you, you just gotta realize that they're going to protect their money, but at, that, at this point you have to realize it's not journalism and it's pretty biased and 
take things on that show with a grain of salt. Take it as it's pro football, take it as it's pro whatever sport they're broadcasting. It's pro that. Even the domestic violence coverage with Ray Rice, it's been all about Look at Ray Rice, look at what he's done, look at the footage, not what is the NFL's responsibility in this whole thing. It's been more rice, 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 bad, 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 Goodell. It's been very clouded in what should Goodell do. But listen, 15 billion reasons why. That's why they put him on suspension and that is why they've told all of their other uh, hosts, you don't talk about his suspension. And basically now, I think people are, tell me how someone on another show is gonna feel about talking about Roger Goodell. Especially after this happens. It's, it's the tone they're setting over there at ESPN and that is why I'm not paying for it. So let me know, let me know if you think he should have been suspended three weeks, three <laughs> weeks for this uh, and let me know what you feel. I personally think he just said what we were all thinking and he said it on a podcast and the curse words for bleeps. So what's the big deal? All right, you guys, that's it for me to quote the greatest on it. Live long and prosper. I'll tell you guys then. Bye. I still can't stand Goodell for making me stick up for this dude. Oh.